Now, the suggestion this year that golfers have got a little bit fed up with so-called product innovation, and it's safe to say that this year's release of drivers haven't really caught the imagination of golfers. And on a personal level, my own situation is that my swing speed is not getting any quicker, and I'm certainly not getting any new extra yardage with these new drivers in hand. So with that in mind, I looked at other areas of the bag in which I could make some improvements. And what I did was come across not one, but two products which really made a difference. And I've got a feeling could help a lot of other average golfers out there. Right distance, one bounce, that'll do us. That's not too bad. So the golf game made easier. We've heard that a thousand times before. And yeah, there's a little bit of a caveat in the small print that we'll get to later. But essentially, I'm gonna tell you about two clubs that will be a far better investment than a new driver in 2024. Well, for most golfers, at least anyway. That's a better one. Could go in, could go in. Oh, just a little bit more of a roll. Now it's at this point where majority of golfers and the audience in this case are gonna switch off. Because what I'm gonna tell you is, it's not a driver quite clearly. It's nothing in the long end of the bag. In fact, it's right at the opposite end. It's the short end of the bag. Yes, it's in fact a wedge. But don't go anywhere because these are two very different wedges and will certainly help a lot of average golfers eradicate a major problem in the game. Right, so before you do disappear, I wanna ask you one question. I want you to be honest with the answer down below. What sort of irons do you currently game? And I mean, what sort of style or genre are they? Are they representative of your ability? And what I mean by that is the majority of golfers will use a game improvement style iron because they need some help um, with their iron play. But quite often, those very same players will then find a club like a Titleist Vokey Wedge in their bag, which is effectively, in my opinion at least anyway, a blade. So unless you're gaming a set of blades in your irons, I really never understand why you'd have a blade-like wedge in your bag, because that makes no sense whatsoever to me. And these clubs are quite the opposite. I'm gonna show you, like I said, why they're an absolute must try at least for a lot of golfers. So the wedges I want you to possibly consider if you're struggling with your short game is from Cleveland. It's the CBX lineup and this is the CBX4. Fourth generation of what is a really, really good club. And it set me on my way to becoming a far better wedge player than I was a couple of years back when my confidence was low. I needed some help. And I'm gonna to explain to you today how they helped me and how they could help you. Well, let's start off first of all with the profile. They're big, they're bulky, and they're probably not the best looking wedge you will ever come across. So if you're just looking for good looking wedges, this probably isn't the video for you. But what do they do well? They're a fairly big old face. They're a fairly, no, they're a very big sole. They're a thick top line. They've got plenty of bulk and mass in and around the hitting area. So they are, without doubt, a game improvement style wedge. And what do they do that's so good? Just grab and go in. That's what they do. The wide sole is a huge help. And why is that? Well, if you don't get things quite right with a wide sole, a wide sole often refers to bounce, 12 degrees of bounce, but also a very wide sole, big camber. And what that allows you to do is if you don't get things quite right, it will, that bounce will assist you in sliding across the turf, in my experience, and help popping the ball up. So they've allowed me to be a lot more aggressive with the way I swing my wedges. I don't stab at things, I just let the club head sort of bruise that turf and have some faith in what it will do. Now, with that less bounce, a leading edge that sits tight to the turf, there's every chance that same sort of swing starts to dig in. And if I don't get it quite right, I'm gonna end up with a few errors. So these wedges are super good in terms of the width of sole for just allowing you to have a bit of confidence. Just let it glide along the top of the turf. Pick it up nice and clean. 
Go on, ball. It just works so, so good. So yes, they are incredibly affected in and around the greens, and that is what I would class, I suppose, uh, certainly a large element of the short game where people will lose confidence, get the yips, start stabbing at stuff, start blading stuff, but then again, this kind of, uh, I don't know where we've come to, maybe 50 yard shot, again, I use exactly the same principle when I'm trying to use that kind of bounce on the club. But then what they do, they've got in incredibly good feel, and incredibly good characteristics in terms of spin. They also launch the ball incredibly high. This is a 58 degree wedge and it's fully what we'd expect. Obviously the loft in itself should be popping the ball up, but that little bit of extra bulk and mass in behind the club head is something I spoke about earlier. And that's certainly a bigger sweet spot if you like, a little bit of bulk that certainly helps you very much. And I also like the fact that there's an ability to sort of still manipulate this face and do a number of different things other than the, in this case, a 58 wedge, the sort of high flop shot. Well, that should kick in off the right hand side. We've gone too wide, different flight altogether. So still with the camber and the shaping of the face, plenty of flexibility. So it's a game improvement wedge, yes, but it's still got all the kind of options that you would perhaps consider only available in a player's style wedge. And that's that kind of ability to, like I said, manufacture shots and uh, turn that head around a little bit, close the face, open the face. You can do all those things with CBX wedges, but with the benefit of all those game improvement elements, which is really what most of us need. Before we attempt, probably the toughest setup we've got so far, little down, Ella, not much green to work with. We'll give it a go shortly. I just want to mention the shafts as well. This UST recoil, recoil wedge shaft is also a great combination that is matched up with these head types as well and comes as standard as a standard option. Uh, really, really good indeed. But there was a time where maybe 10 years ago, I considered myself to be a really good wedge player. My short game was good. I'd have the kind of a Vokey in the bag back then. And then I went through a period where uh, my confidence dropped considerably. I would stab at wedges. I would get a little bit nervy. I would do all the things that uh, chunk the ground, thin one through the back. And uh, we all know that's a, that's a tough spiral to get out of. And I've got to admit that CBXs, when they first came out, were the first starting block to me getting better and getting my wedge game back. So I'm not suggesting that maybe people think they're too good for these, and maybe I did at one point, then I wouldn't dismiss them. Even if you consider them as some kind of training aid to get your confidence back, then I think that uh, it certainly would help get back into where you perhaps want to be. And that's gonna be a little bit wide. It was a lovely, you can even hear the grab on them. They, they're great performing wedges. Feed down, feed down. That is such a difficult shot. The first hole, I always struggle to walk off here with, uh, with a par. I generally walk off with a bogey, but they were good efforts. But look, I try to bring something in that is, there's a lot focused on, like I said, driver, driver, driver. That's all consumers are really interested in. And sometimes all YouTube videos are interested in as well, or viewers are interested in rather. But honestly, we pay too much attention to the wrong end of the bag. And I can't tell you how much these wedges have helped me in this last few years. It's a style of wedge that uh, can only breed confidence, get you back to where you were. And in my case, I've moved on from one with a different wedge now. I've got, back, got, got the confidence back to use the style of wedge that I'm referring to, one that matches up to my irons. I use blade-like irons, I use blade-like wedges. It makes sense. But if you're using game improvement irons, there's every chance you should be considering a game improvement wedge. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Have I got this one right or wrong uh, or indifferent? Either way, I always like to get your feedback and I'll see you all soon.